from arriving in Cleveland, Margaret had things planned from the from the very moment we arrived. Firstly, we went and had a very nice lunch with Kevin and Aaron O'Toole, and it meant quite a lot to me that the O'Tooles would be the first people to, to see what I'd come with, because I really felt that if it didn't have the approval of the O'Toole family, then it wasn't a runner. You know, we had to have their approval first. All along Battery Park has been the main desired location, but Margaret was concerned that all other options should be seen. For example, where the famine memorial is, although it can seem like a very tight space, there was the possibility of having the concept of an evolution from Johnny Kilban, the, the boxer and then the statesman. We walked along the viaduct as well, potentially looking for a location up there, but it seemed too quiet there. I mean, there was a, a potential, you got lovely skyline, but I couldn't fully see why. Why would you put it there? We also went to the cultural gardens I could see why many people thought that the cultural gardens might be the right place for, for this. But the truth is that Kilbaum was not a cultural figure, he was a boxer. When the Irish came and they decided on what plot that they wanted to take over on Rockefeller Drive, they said, we want a corner lot with a view. Everybody, there's not too many corner lots here. I really felt that, that the cultural gardens, fabulous place to do a sculpture for, but uh, not Johnny Kilpan. There's something about walking in the footsteps of the person who you're, you're trying to portray. You feel you get to know them a little bit better by doing so. Then we went on to St. Coleman's uh, and that is just a gem of a church. I mean, it, it, it's wonderful to see it, to see the quality of the craftsmanship, to see, to see the work that, that these people did for very, very little um, pay, very little reward, and very humbling for any artist, sculptor in my case, to see this intricate work that sculptors before me were doing with so much attention to detail, so much emotion. We also briefly went to the stadium to see an exciting sculpture of a, a baseball player. It excited me from the point of view of the movement in it, and I was offering two ideas for Johnny Kilbane, one of them with the movement and one as a more static sculpture. When I saw the one outside the stadium, I was tending more towards thinking that the full action of boxing was the more exciting sculpture. 